music to my ears. What's going on YouTube? It's your man, Boys Life, coming at you with another video. Music to my ears. I love it. It is amazing. It, I'm not. I'm not knocking. I'm not making fun of the injury that happened to said player. But I am laughing at the organization that is already deeming themselves NFC East champ. Now, I know I said I was not going to get in political political views anymore, no debates. But honestly, guys, I got one more video that I need to put out. And that's honestly going to be my next video. And it's going to come with a heartfelt apology at the end of the video. So when you do watch that video, stay tuned to the, to the, la to the very end. Or if you don't want to listen to the whole video and you want to just listen to the apology, it's probably going to be the last like minute, last like minute and 15 seconds. But anyway, let's get into this. Brandon Brooks. Brandon Brooks. The Eagles probably best offensive lineman that they got on the roster. Because we know uh, Jason Peters is gone. And we know Andre Dillard, uh, who they jumped in front of Houston to grab two years ago. is his, his confidence is just trash from when he went from left tackle to right tackle. And just got demolished. Um, we have Kelsey, who is up in the air about playing anymore. Um, um, Lane Johnson, I don't even know if he, is he still even on the team? I can't even, I don't even know. But now you got Brandon Brooks, who is arguably their best offensive lineman, who's a guard, if I'm not mistaken, on the left side, next to, um, next to Lane Johnson. <laughs> if Carson Wentz was already getting hurt at a high rate with a shitty offensive line or a halfway defense offensive line. Um, what's going to happen to him now that um, Brandon Brooks is gone? Andre Dillard looks to be the left tackle. And then you have Travis Kelsey. Or not Travis. Is it Travis? No, it's not Travis. It, it's one of the Kelsey brothers. I, Jason Kelsey, right? I, I, I forget his name. I just his last name's Kelsey. Um, Kelsey who doesn't even know if he wants to play. And then you have Lane Johnson, who is now in his later stages of his career getting hurt. So this offensive line has just went to shit just like that. Actually, let's do it with the correct hand. You know, just went to shit. Um, to me, this is huge. Um, only because you win your games in the trenches. And that's what I've been saying for the longest time, for the past couple years. Um, it doesn't matter if, um, if you can throw the ball, this, that, and the third. Um, you win your games in the trenches. Um, third and two, second and three, second and one, third and one. You know, that's where you win your games, running the ball just like that. Um, there are enigmas. There are um, exceptions to the rule, i.e. Um, Kansas City, where you can just, Patrick Mahomes has all kinds of weapons who, let's let's be real here, are going to be gone here in a couple years. So I'm not worried about that because the exceptions to rules, they end up fading and falling back into the norm, you know. And that's not how they operate and they end up doing bad and yada, 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 yeah. So Brandon Brooks out for the season. It, it, it makes me laugh because I, I, I found it funny that... I already knew Eagle fans were about to come out and talk shit about Zeke having COVID and da da da, which I don't even know why people are talking shit because now we know. Sorry about that. I had to let my dog out. Um, where's he at? There he is. But anyway, um, but now we know that COVID is not that serious. <laughs> I mean, even if you have underlining conditions, you have a like point zero. 5.5 something 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 chance of dying and then even if and then if you don't have underlying conditions and you're relatively healthy you have like a 0 0.02 0, 0, 0, some chance of dying from it so it's nothing to even i mean it, it's something to laugh about to be honest with you 
but it is what it is and the eagles got what they deserve um and it, it just cracks me up but anyways brandon brooks done for the season the eagles o-line they don't have nobody else it's over it's done with that offensive line is going to hurt and with our uh, revamped of our defensive defensive line it looks like this nfc is coming home to roost and it's going to be here in in texas in dallas arlington i'm out peace